Hi there, welcome to Practice Better. In this video, we're creating form mappings to assist you, the practitioner, in transferring clients' completed form answers into relevant sections within their client record. To create mappings, go to My Practice, Forms and Waivers, click on the Mappings and Settings tab. Here, you can create mappings for multiple forms if needed. Keep in mind, you do not need to map every question in every form. This functionality is designed for you to move important information that you need on hand in the client's record when you are creating resources such as notes for them. Here's an example of a mapping already created. On the left-hand side, you can choose questions from within your form. And on the right-hand side, you can choose where within the client's record you wish the form answer to reside. You can map form questions into the basic information, medical history, and diet and lifestyle sections of the client record. To continue to add mapping, select Add Mapping. If you want to map every question in your form, select Add All. If you click the three dots beside your mapping, you can enable overwriting existing data. This is helpful if you plan on mapping a form often. When mapping personal information, it overwrites existing data by default, so you won't see this option for mapping this in particular. This is helpful so that you have the most recent information within your client's record, instead of multiple mapping entries which may be difficult for you to decipher. You can also choose to include the question title alongside the answer. If you're mapping multiple questions into one answer, Including the question title is useful because you do not need to guess what each answer is in response to. This allows you to stay organized. And lastly, you can choose to map your private notes on a client's form into their client record. Once you're done setting up your mappings, select Save. If you're part of the team plan, you can click the three dots beside your mapping to share your mapping settings with your team. Now, let's go through importing a client's form data into their client record. Navigate to the Form and Waiver section within your client's record. Click on a client's completed form and select Import. Mappings are not automatic, so you need to select import each time to initiate the process. You will see your previously created mapping settings that you can adjust if needed. For example, if you have a client that does not require all these form questions mapped, you can delete any irrelevant mappings. Keep in mind, any question that is not answered by your client will be skipped during the review process. Once you've looked over your mappings and everything is good to go, select Import to complete the transfer. This concludes how to create form mappings for your forms. Please check out our Help Center for more information and resources.